Okay, good afternoon, everyone. How are you? How are you today? How's everybody today? Yoo-hoo, hello, six slash one. Hello, can you see me? Hello. Yeah, hey, yes. what's wrong? Yeah, you okay? Good? Uh, it seems like you're so tired. Are you done eating your lunch? Okay, good, good. Okay. So I hope you are ready now for our class. Anyway, uh, this lesson is uh, one of the lessons that we finished already. So we will not be able to uh, waste too much time on this one. Okay, wait, just give me one moment. All right, here. So, uh, can you see the PowerPoint now? Yes. Okay, good, perfect. So, I will try my best to finish this early and uh, you can relax after if you can finish early and uh, I can relax also. All right, would that be okay to you? Let's do it quick yes. and then we can relax. All right, so welcome to our online learning prepared by foreign teachers in Pratum Success 6, Anuban Chunburi School. This video recording is for educational purposes only. Once again, my name is Teacher Edward, and I am your speaker for today. Okay, wait, I think I wasn't able to put some background on. So, okay, there, perfect. So, uh, what did we study last week? Can you still remember what are the things that we studied last week? Smoothie. Oh, we made a smoothie, right? Yeah. And then uh, we watch also, or oh, you watch me, uh, the video that I made about the how to make a juice, right? But before that, we study about the digestive system. Monday last week, we study about the digestive system. And on Wednesday, uh, we did the uh, uh, blending some fruits and vegetables and uh, also... Uh, you watch about uh, how to make the juice. Have you tried it at home? Uh, Jirayu, did you try making a smoothie uh, yes. last time? Okay, good. Was it yummy? Okay, good. What about the others? Who tried? Who tried at home? Only Jirayu? What about Nataya? Did you try? Oh, you don't, Nataya, don't have a blender or juicer. What about the others? I'm sure uh, many of you have blender and juicer at home, all right? Yeah, anybody wants to say something? None, okay. So uh, here are the things that we study, uh, the digestive system, the functions and the parts of the digestive system from the mouth, uh, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, uh, rectum, and anus. Okay, so those were the parts of the digestive system. And we also have there the liver, the gallbladder, and the uh, pancreas. Okay, so please remember that because uh, later today, we are going to answer, uh, we're going to answer a Google form like this. Okay, so can you see it? I will show it to you. So see? It's all about like who will, what will produce a bile. This one is very easy. Okay, yeah. So these are the things that you'll answer later. Okay, so yes, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Yeah, after we discuss the digestive system, we study also uh, juicing and blending of fruits and vegetables. And I hope maybe you can try this week. And then you can send a picture in the in the group chat if you want, okay? Or you can message me, hey, Teacher Edward, I I created or I made a juice out of a uh, carrot juice. Ah, so you can message me, and I will be very very happy. Okay, so these are the parts of uh, the digestive system, and these are the vocabulary words that uh, we studied last week. Digestion, absorption, enzymes, saliva, toxins, feces, bile, and villi. 
Okay, for our warm-up video this afternoon, let's uh, watch this short video. It's all about the digestive system and how to take care of it because that will be our topic for this afternoon. Right, so uh, I hope that the refer refresh our ideas about the parts, the functions, and some cool facts about our digestive system. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm requesting all of you to kindly turn on your microphone and let's read these words together. Okay, are you ready now? Number one, germ. 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 Number two, chew. Chew. Number three, convert. Convert. Number four, nitrites. Nitrites. Number five, requirement. Requirement. Number six, preservatives. Preservatives. Number seven, undigested. Undigested. Okay, good job, everybody. You can now turn off your microphones. So the germ here, please don't mind the picture because I wasn't able to change the pictures here. So the germs are the microorganisms, especially one which cause diseases. So for example, uh, when we uh, eat the, our food and then uh, without washing our hands, okay? So when we play like clay, clay dough or whatever, and then our hands get dirty and we will not wash our hands before we eat. So there are germs in our hands and then it will go with the food. And when we eat them, it will go in our digestive system and then we will become sick. So that is uh, very dangerous for us. So we need to uh, be careful with these germs. We can get this one everywhere, like money, uh, or you've been to the toilet, or uh, all the things, dirt and all of that, uh, it produces, uh, or there are presence of dirt or germs, all right? So the next word here is chew. Chew means to bite or work the food in the mouth. So these are the, uh, wait, just give me a moment. Chew means uh, we use our teeth and uh, we use also our mouth together with the uh, with the saliva okay uh, for us to uh, digest or make the food smaller all right so okay okay, okay. where are we now chew right okay so chew okay resume share all right so uh, we use a teeth and saliva and uh, tongue uh, to make the food smaller and it will become easier for us to swallow. The next word here is the word convert. Convert means to change in form, character, or function. For example, your money. You're going to convert your money, Thai baht, into uh, US dollar. So that is convert, no? Conversion. And also like carbohydrates will become uh, fats, right? If you will not use that energy. So that is also uh, referring to the word convert. The next word here is nitrites. Nitrites is a chemical preservatives used in ham and sausages. So uh, it will be part of the quiz uh, later on. So that's why I included this. Requirement are the thing that is needed or wanted. So requirement. And uh, preservatives is a substance used to preserve foodstuffs like nitrite, sulfur dioxide, and salt. Those are the things that we use in order uh, for the food to uh, stay longer. Okay. And the last one here is undigested. Of course, the food that are not digested in our body will go to the large intestine and then it will become feces or poop and then it will come out of our body, okay? So uh, let's go directly to our lesson or anyway, this is not new to you. We studied this already. 
how do we keep our digestive system healthy? Okay, so here are the things. You can open your book uh, in page uh, 23. Yeah, page 23, yes. So you can open your book, page 23, and then you can see there our topic. Uh, how do we keep our digestive system healthy? So in order for us to uh, have our healthy digestive system, okay, because if our digestive system will be healthy, we'll be able to take in nutrients from the food that we eat. So we need these nutrients to stay alive and grow well and healthy, beautiful. So it's very important to take care of our digestive system. Have you tried when you travel? You know, you ride a bus or your a car and then you have a stomach ache. Does it feel okay? Is it comfortable? Even now, when you study science and uh, you are having stomach ache, it is not comfortable, right? It's not good. That's why we need to take care of our digestive system. So the first thing here is washing our hands. So wash our hands. Germs. Okay, I mentioned or I explained what are germs. Germs can harm our digestive system. So before we eat, we should wash our hands with soap, not only with water or alcohol, not good. We need to wash our hands with soap and water to get rid of the germs on our hands. And after we eat, we wash our hands again. All right, so that is number one, and you can find it in your book as well. Number two here is uh, cooking our food fully. So cooking our food fully help kill the germs in the food because the, the meat that we, uh, we buy from the market, they are not 100% clean, right? I'm sure that you know that one. So we should make sure that the meat is fully cooked before we eat them. We should also wash the fruits and vegetables before eating. What about Teacher Edward, the restaurant that offers, uh, what is that, uh, rare, medium rare, and uh, what is that, uh, the, the level of the, the meat that you're going to eat? So I say that you need to eat uh, the food that is uh, fully cooked, no? not the rare that you can see a lot of blood. It's not uh, cooked properly. I don't know about you, but I am not enjoying the food if there's a lot of blood still in it. Not good, no? So we, if you will be asked uh, what uh, type of meat or how or what type of food you're going to, to eat or how are they going to cook your food? So you say, well done. Okay, we say uh, well done or medium well up to you, but please do not uh, do it in a uh, rare. Here's a picture. So we have here rare. Oh, it looks like it wasn't cooked yet. Medium rare. Okay, and we have medium. Uh, this is medium well and this is well done. So let's go here. Or maybe medium well is okay. Well done is very good for me. I don't know about you. But your book is saying that in order for us to kill the germs in the food, we need to cook the food fully, okay? And for uh, vegetables and fruits, uh, we need to wash them before eating them. There are many techniques also in uh, washing our uh, fruits and vegetables. Washing uh, vegetables with, with charcoal, with... Some, they use a baking soda with, let's see here, charcoal. I think some people use charcoal in, in washing. Okay, so uh, some people use charcoal. Okay, this one, the charcoal powder, they use this one in order to uh, wash and remove the chemicals in the, in the fruits and vegetables. Number three, can you tell me what is number three? In page 23, anybody can tell me what is uh, that number three item in page 23? Chew our food more. Chew our food more. Okay, chewing our food more. What is the meaning of that? 
We need to chew more. Sometimes we become very, for me, this is my problem. I eat very quickly. I finish uh, my lunch very quickly, maybe less than a minute. I eat very quickly. And sometimes I forgot to uh, chew the food more because sometimes you're so busy. So uh, your book or it is advising us to chew our food carefully. Okay. I, uh, my wife is always reminding me that uh, when we eat, we need to eat easily and not quickly because sometimes we go, we eat a rush. Okay, so uh, that is a tendency. And the problem of that is that it, the food is not broken down into smaller pieces yet and it will go to your stomach already. See? And uh, it will not be easily digested and absorbed by your body. So... When you eat, you need to eat slowly and uh, chew our food more so that it will become smaller and then our body can digest and absorb it easily. Okay. And number four here is exercise regularly. Okay. So what type of exercise do you do at home? So exercising is also good for our uh, digestive system. Okay. So what do you, or what are the exercises that you do so that uh, it will be able to help your digestive system to remain healthy? So I don't know what about, uh, what are your uh, exercises that you like or sports that you want to do, but you need to exercise at least 150 minutes how many hours is that? 150 minutes of exercise every week. Can you tell me? Convert it into hours. 150. Two hour and a half. Okay, two hour and a half. Okay, two hours and a half. So uh, now you're going to divide two hours and a half into seven days. Because there are seven days in a week, right? Oh, no. Let's divide it into six because one day you relax. Okay? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then you relax on Saturday and Sunday you exercise again. So 20 minutes? Is 20 minutes? Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, some maybe 20 to 20. Approximately. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, 25 minutes, right? 25, 50, 100, 150. Yeah, 150 minutes in all. If you so, it means every day you need to exercise. What is the best exercise that you know? Do you know what is the best exercise? Swimming. Swimming. Ooh, very good. Yeah. What else? But the problem with swimming, Nataya, is some people don't know how to swim. Ah, yeah, yeah. You will drown. So what do you think is the best exercise? Run. Run? Oh, run is uh, very good also. But some people, those people who are fat, they cannot run properly. And they will have the, what is this? The bones in the, in the knees, okay? It will hurt. It will get hurt. So what do you think is the the best exercise for all of us, for all of us. Yoga. I'm, sh I'm sorry? Yoga. Yoga, okay, okay, can be. Uh, but according to the, to the doctors, the best exercise that all of us can do, uh, unless uh, you're, you have some, uh, something wrong in your body, like you, have, you only have one leg or something like that, the best exercise is walking. Mm, that's the best exercise. So walking is a very good exercise and we can do it every day, like 30 minutes. So 30 minutes of walking every day, then we'll be able to uh, get this 150 minutes. But if you want biking, running, or swimming, in my case, it is running. So I will share here. This is the... When did it happen? Ah, this is last year. So I ran uh, this event uh, last year. 
I ran for 50 kilometers and I'm so happy that I was able to finish the, the race. We ran from 10 in the evening. We ran 10 in the evening and then I finish around uh, I finish around eight in the morning. Yeah. So I finished the yeah. Uh, I was number eight overall. Still, uh, I have a lot of injury with this one. There's a lot of picture, and I like to to watch this one. Oh, see, very nice. Or maybe uh, you will join me also. So this is the place where we go. There, different uh, terrain. Very exciting, right? Very exciting, and there's a lot of snakes also. Okay, so <laughs> let's uh, proceed. In your book, there are only four. But I added uh, some uh, uh, items here. Number five is minimize your intake of foods high in fat. Can you give me an example, Supakrit, the foods that are high in fats? French fries. I wasn't able to hear you, but I read your, your mouth. You said French fries. Okay, very good. What else? Uh, Napichaya, can you tell me what is the... Uh, what are examples of a food that is rich in fat? Napichaya. Yes. Okay. Uh, pakapong. Uh, fried fish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when we when we cook the egg also right there's a there's some oil but that's it, it, it is not too much well it says here minimize it didn't say that you should stop eating but you need to minimize little little only what about number seven here select lean meats what is the meaning of that lean meats lean means uh, there are less fats that you can see so I'll show you a picture so that uh, you can see clearly what are what am I trying to say. So here you can see that on this first picture there's a yellow uh, there's a white thing that those are fats and this is the lean meat the second one. So we where should we uh, what should we pick the first number one or the number two? Chuntira. Which one you like, the number one or the number two? Number two. Ah, yeah. You should pick the number two, right? Because there's less fat in it. But the Angus beef is, oh, my beef, my favorite meat is the beef. Uh, the, oh, I, maybe, uh, those are uh, expensive, uh, those expensive meat, like uh, this one, they have uh, fats as well. So yeah, like this, see? But the fats is not the same as the one I show you earlier. You can see this is a very, very expensive type of uh, beef. You can see that the fats is mixed together with the meat, right? And like this, okay, see? This is different with this one. So they, this one is very nutritious and I, I don't know, maybe it is very yummy as well. And it's very, very expensive. Okay, so uh, we need to, if you go to the market, we need to select lean meats and we should avoid the fatty cats of meat. Uh, number, oh, there's no number eight. It should be number eight, seven, and then eight. Follow a regular eating schedule. So what time do you usually eat your breakfast? Uh, Faraday, what time do you eat your breakfast? 8 a.m. Okay, so if you say 8 a.m., you need to follow that regular eating schedule. 8 a.m. today, tomorrow 8 a.m. again, 8 a.m., 8 a.m. every single day. Why? It is because uh, your digestive system will be ready and will be uh, what is this? Get used on that time uh, you eat, okay? Because if you keep on changing your eating schedule, uh, there will be something 
wrong in your body it will it might result to bloating bloating means when you tap your tummy it produce a very weird sound that is bloating and uh, your tummy will become very very big full of air and indigestion okay so your food will not be digested properly why because you are not following a regular eating schedule so the last one here is drink plenty of water so drinking plenty of water is also very good for our digestive system okay drinking water good for all the systems in our body good for our respiratory good for our heart good for excretory for our body to clean you know and yeah so we need to drink plenty of water and i'm sure I don't know, maybe some of you are drinking a lot of water every day, but for my case, this is one of my problem. I cannot uh, drink a lot of water unless I exercise because when I exercise, I drink plenty of water. But if I'm at home, just sitting down and looking at the computer, oh, yeah, yeah. sometimes I forgot to drink water entire day. And it is not good also that when you remember, oh, I wasn't able to drink water. I will drink a lot. Ah, it is not good as well. So we need to uh, drink water little by little, not all at once. Okay. So uh, now let's proceed to our practice time. Here are some of the questions that you need to remember so that uh, on Wednesday, you can answer the Google quiz. Okay. So Jaina has been feeling weak after skipping breakfast. So which type of nutrients does she need most now? Anybody can answer so that we can finish quickly. What's your answer? No energy. So what is needed? Vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, or water? Carbohydrates. 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 Very good. Please be active so that we'll be able to finish our class quickly and as early as possible. Number two, excess carbohydrates is converted to excess carbohydrates is converted to what? Protein. Protein is wrong. Carbohydrates will become anybody? Putisan. Excess carbohydrates is converted. Two, proteins, fats, vitamins, or minerals? Fat. Fats. Very good. So if you eat a lot of noodles, 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 and you will not uh, exercise, so that noodles will become carbohydrates, and that carbohydrates will become fats. Okay? So please do not forget that. Now, number three, which of the following is the best source of minerals? Lalada, can you hear me, Lalada? Which of the following is the best source of minerals? Candy, potato, chicken, or spinach? I think Lalada is not here. What about uh, Kanyapak? Kanyapak? Spinach. Spinach is very good. That's the best answer. Okay. Oops, spinach. And according to Thailand's nutrition flag, we should have about blank portions of fruits per day. Uh, please refer this, uh, I will call a number, uh, Jinipa. Please refer it in your book, page 9. And please tell me the answer, page 9. How many uh, portions of fruits we need to eat every day? Page 9. You can take a picture, by the way, while waiting for Jinipa to uh, open the book. You can take a picture of all of this so that on Wednesday, you can have a perfect score in our quiz or you can copy. All right, Jinipa? D. D, three to five versions. Very good. Correct. Uh, Don Rapporn, which of the following contains the most fats? C. Be a fried chicken a drumstick. Okay, so take a picture, your print screen or whatever you want to do so that you can study this at home. Okay. 
So there are small finger-like structure called villi inside the small intestine. What is the function of villi? Let's ask uh, Apiwit. Can you hear me, Apiwit? Yes. Yes. What is the function of the villi? Push the poop out of the body, help absorb nutrients, mix food with saliva, or grind the food into smaller pieces. What's your answer, Apiwit? Apiwit? They help absorb nutrients to our body. Very good. Letter B. Good job. Now let's ask Natchanan. Natchanan, please refer to page, uh, what page is this? Page 13. Okay, page 13, Natchanan. Can you hear me, Natchanan? Oh, I think uh, Natchanan. Can't hear me. Uh, what about uh, Panatat? Number 15, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so what is your answer for number 7? Please refer to page 13. Raj is 150 centimeter tall. His weight is 67.5 kilograms. What is his BMI? 0 0.003. Letter B, 3. Letter C, 30, or letter D, 300. What is uh, his BMI? Panatat. Wait, wait me, I will think. Okay. You have the answer now. It uh, no need for you to solve. No need for you to solve. Just looking at the number, is there a BMI like this? 0 0.003? Is there a BMI of 3? Is there a BMI of 30? Or 300? Without solving, you'll be able to answer it immediately if we are familiar. Uh, in page of page 13. C. Ah, very good. The correct answer here is 30. No other BMI is uh, okay, like 3, 300, and 0 0.003. Those are not normal BMI. It's not in the range. It should be somewhere in, let's say, 17 to 35. Okay, that, that's, the, that's the most. Okay, so number eight here. Naomi's BMI is 30.9. Which BMI category does he belong to? Let's ask uh, Natawat. Can you hear me, Natawat? Yes. Okay, what's your answer here for number eight? 30.9. Again, refer to page 13 in your book. What is this? Underweight, overweight, normal weight, or obese? Obese. Obese is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's proceed to number nine. Let's ask uh, number three, Kemika. Are you here with us? Can you hear me? Not here. What about Patarida? Can you hear me, Patarida? Nah. Uh, Natcha, can you hear me, Natcha? Yes. Okay, so what do you think is the correct answer for number nine, Natcha? Which of the following does not affect a person's daily energy requirement? Gender, like boys and girls, activity level, how extreme your exercise, about your hair color, or age? Which of the following does not affect your energy 
requirement. Not sure what is your answer. C. C, hair color. Very good. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Good job, Natcha. Okay, so now let's proceed here. I think this is the last one. We will not, uh, oops, we will not proceed with, uh, yeah, please take a picture, no? If you want to study this at home because we are running out of time and uh, I will give you plenty of time to answer the quiz today. So which of the which is the function of the pancreas? Okay, it produces a pancreatic juice or enzymes that digest carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Proteins are digested in the stomach and also in the small intestine. And which of the following are the food preservatives? We have sulfur dioxide and nitrite. So these are the food preservatives. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. And... Uh, let me ask you, are you guys done answering page 24 in your book? Nat Nataya, are you done answering page 24 in your book? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Perfect. So let me check your answers. Is your answers here correct? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Because uh, you will be needing it uh, in answering the Google form that I will give to you now okay so there is a very simple google quiz there's a lot of questions but if you read them properly you will be able to in answer them quickly and easily all right so i'm sending you now the link you can answer now and uh okay Okay, so I will send it also to you here in the line for your, maybe your classmates are, uh, what is this, absent? Okay. There, okay. So please answer and I will, <clears throat> I will check your, uh, no, I will check your attendance and I will stop talking after. Okay. Number 20 is absent. The cheat is absent. Twenty-seven, are you here? Number twenty-seven. Girapat. Girapat, are you here? No absent. Number thirty-four, are you here? Number thirty-four, what shall we? Oh, what are we is here? What are we is here? What about number thirty-seven? We repon. Is we repon here? Is we repon a uh, Nataya? Do you know who we repon is? Yeah. Uh, is, is she okay? What's wrong with her? Why she's not coming to our science class? I don't know with him. 
he never read my message in me. Oh, I see. So, hopefully that she's okay, that she's not sick or whatever, that she cannot attend our classes. Okay. So, I will give you time now. Uh, it's still very, very early. <clears throat> I'm requesting you to please, uh, to please send page 24 in the album that I'm going to create now in the line group chat and answer the, the Google form. Okay? So, I will pause the or I will stop the recording now. <clears throat> 